Okay, now we're going to take a look at quotient and remainder problem type number two. So our example here, we're asked to divide and to give the quotient and the remainder. So keep in mind, we're going to have to give two answers, what the quotient is and what the remainder is. And we have set up here, 7 goes into 453. And it's already set up long division, so that's okay. I'm just going to write a little bit larger out here. 7 goes into 453. So we start from the left, and we say 7 goes into 4. Well, 7 doesn't go into 4, so I need to include another digit. 7 goes into 45. So 7 does go into 45. And 7 goes into 45 six times. And of course, 6 times 7, that gives us 42. And so we want to subtract that from the 45. And when we do, we're left with 3. Now, we keep going as long as we have digits. And we do have another digit out here, this other 3. So I'm going to bring it down. And that gives me a 33. So now the question is, how many times does 7 go into 33? Well, 7 goes into 33 four times. And again, 4 times 7, this time we get 28. So we subtract once again, 33 minus the 28 gives us 5. So at this point, we have answered the question as it was given to us because we've ran out of digits here, so I can't bring anything else down. And so the quotient is the 64. And the remainder is what we were left with when we were done, which was the 5. So the quotient is 64, and the remainder is 5. And that's what we were looking for.